everybody and welcome back to the Wilderness Survival School where we talk everything Wilderness Survival and Preparedness. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm PJ Bushcraft, lead instructor at the school and today I'm going to be discussing some stoves. We're going to kind of go from a more primitive based above fire stove to your fold out stoves to your solo gas fire stoves and then alcohol systems so today right now we have we have several products here actually from the Pathfinder school and I just want to thank Dave Canterbury for you know pretty much making products better than their original design and making it affordable for guys like me to purchase and then teach at our schools a cooking system like this which without this right here would be a meat cooker and it would just be attached to this over your fire this is great um, it, it is very Frontiersman, Pioneer-esque, uh, and with the hooks, you can hook your bales and pots and pans, and, and, and it's a very cool thing, and I would consider this to be a stationary item, um, something that's going to be at your bug out location, at your, your, at your campsite, at your, you know, makeshift cabin, whatever have you, that's what's going to be outside, and also something like this which is a fold-out stainless steel above, again, it's going to be an above fire system, and you're going to have this, and it also can be used as a makeshift pack frame, putting into where you store your water bladders and your, and your hiking packs. Um, you can put your pots and pans, you can actually make a tripod around this thing, um, I found, and then smoke your meat. Please excuse the wind, I've been fighting this wind constantly, but I've got to get this information out. Next up, we have the OG of this kind of community. And most people love this thing, and I do love it, but I don't think it's the best, and I'm gonna tell you why. The titanium and the stainless steel are fantastic products. They're very thin, they fold out like so, the center piece drops down, you have yourself a stove, this can fold down, your feeding system is kind of going to be like this. Once you have some embers and a fire going, you're going to feed in your sticks like this. And if you do it like that, they're at an angle and the fire just roars out of this thing. Not like a rocket stove. Um, we have a rocket stove here, but it's not this. It works fantastic, okay? I love this thing. I don't like that it is heavy. Some of you guys that would love to sacrifice um, maybe you're really familiar with a more lightweight gear and you don't mind having this on you, this is basically a portable campfire. I'm not looking for that. Um, if I want a campfire, I'm going to build one on the ground, right? Yeah, this is a fantastic product. It cooks very fast. The BTUs are very high on this. I, I actually purchased the grill grade. It works fantastic. It's just heavy. The titanium is still heavy. It's not lightweight. The next one you have is what most of you guys are familiar with is a solo stove gasifier design and it's a cool stove. The reason why it's cool is because it's just so all-inclusive. I mean, you just drop this in just like that, got your top on it, bam, it's done, it's ready, it folds very pat, very small and compact, comes in a little case. I mean, I love this. The only thing that dampers this is if you have a bigger pot. The feeding system sucks. You gotta put little tiny pieces, you gotta break your sticks apart to make that work. I've actually seen people in the preparedness community that sell a lot of um, dehydrated foods and you know meals for prepping for your family for long-term food storage. Those companies are selling stoves just like this one. Uh, this one is uh, Tom Show, Tom Shoe. <laughs> You get this on Amazon. I wasn't looking for a brand name. I needed a material and I needed the gasifier design. Once I got this, I realized and watched it work side by side with a solo stove. And this outperformed it. And I was blown away from the, from the price tag from 65 bucks to this $20 stove. And my goodness, it worked fantastic. I don't have a problem with that at all. The next stove we have up, which is my personal favorite, and I'll just be honest with you right now. It is the Uberleben flat pack stove. This is a titanium version. I do have a stainless steel, and I'm going to show you that when we do our pack dose. 
and I, and I have a, a lot of uh, cool stuff to talk about, like your long-term bags versus your short-term bags. Um, this folds right in on itself. Or yeah, I should say it builds right on itself. And I just find it to be the easiest, um, most efficient one of any one of these tools. And there's a reason for that. The design of this gives it a multi-purpose function. Not only can it just cook stuff, and it does, and is just like a rocket stove, but it's doing it at such a proficient rate. It, 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 like I said, guys, I'm showing you this. You know, there's a lot of guys on YouTube with these. Go find them uh, if you want to watch somebody do them. Because I'm not advocating that. I'm advocating you purchasing something like this for preparedness, for long term. Not only survival for you and your family, but an awesome camping addition. Because you need to play with it. You have to use it yourself to see how it works. It won't look like this be all discolored. You buy it. You can use it. But after you build up a good ember bed on this thing, you turn it sideways. It has a surface right here where you can fry a small game. You can flip it upside down. You have a grill grate. And not only that, the structural integrity of this thing I found is is uh, bar none, uh, basically because of its design. And I really love the fact that the oxygen that gets taken in from this particular stove is a rocket. It shoots out of this thing, and I love it so much. And I mean, you're just going to feed it through this giant feed port. You're constantly going to be breaking sticks and twigs, and that's great. And some of you are going, that little thing that fits in your pocket is not going to hold anything substantial. Well, you'd be wrong. This is a Dutch oven. This Dutch oven is the same kind of design, pretty much, to be putting right over the side of a fire. But guess what? The pioneers and frontiersmen carry didn't lug these heavy things with them everywhere. There's a reason. They're super efficient in cooking. And with a little, maintain, a little bit of maintenance, They'll last forever, and that little pocket stove holds this perfectly fine. And if I were to, you know, push on this and everything, I'm gonna tell you right now, this thing full of water with the chicken and some potatoes, you got a winner. Just keep on feeding it in the front, take this, lug it back, put the stove in your pocket, and you're done. It's awesome. I love it. Next up, Pathfinder School. Thank you again for making a product that is better than the original. The original uh, GI canteens were nowhere near as cool as this. And not only that, did not have a wide mouth like this does. So you could just pack snow in there, and pack water in there. You know, put your cotton-based material or something like that so you don't get all the little impurities in your water when you're gonna dump this out so it's not full of sand and grit and grime when you're gonna boil this out for disinfecting your water. But what I really like is that it comes with a stove in a container. Here's your generalized kit container. And comes with a lid with the holes right here. So you'll put this on the ground and you will put your stove on there, cooking your food, whatever you need. I mean, if this is a small trek out for a couple days, I brought this. Um, with me multiple times out in the woods. It works fantastic. It's made of good stuff. The stove itself, you've got a bottom feed port. The air is going to go in, but again, it is a bottom fire. You're going to have to start the fire on the ground. Get the embers together. Put this over the top of it, and then put your material and feed it. And sometimes you're going to have to blow on it to keep the embers going. But after you build up enough of them, I mean, you can boil your water after you do this or vice versa. It's a fantastic system. And last but not least, again, a Pathfinder thing. I love this thing. This is probably the biggest alcohol stove you're going to find on the market. And you don't have to make a fish or a chicken wire thing to go over the top of it because it comes with a pot stand. All right? It's about 40 milliliters, and it will burn up to two hours. If you do not believe me, that's fine. Go get your own because it's not like a Trangia or something like that. This is a fantastic product. It'll burn isopropic alcohol. It'll burn alcohol-based product. I use denaturalized alcohol. And I'll tell you right now, I love this thing. 
I would bring this on any hunting trip, any trek, and if you were in a situation to where you had wet tundra everywhere and you needed to dry it out effectively and quickly, this would be that product for you. It would do it so fast. And I love that for, for uh, this for that. And I'm going to tell you right now, if I had to choose one thing that will come with me in a lights off, grid down, something I could bring, something I could cook with, something that brings my stuff off of the moist ground, and not only that, but has a, can boil the water super fast with a rocket stove effect, it would be the Uberlieben flat pack stove. And the reason why, again, it folds and fits in this very thin pack. And I can put that in my haversack and still have almost 100% use of my haversack. So I know, I have that peace of mind. When I go to start that fire and I have that tender, I know my sides are blocked. I know I have a very easy feed port. I know it can hold a lot of weight. I know when I'm done, it's titanium. Even the stainless steel did not, uh, it tends to hold heat for too long. And I just absolutely love it so much. But maybe your family's different. Maybe you just have a location where this would be optimum for you. These, this system right here, having this as your pack frame, if you have a heavy pack, you know where you're going. You're going to have a stationary fire. You're not caring about people seeing smoke. Perfect for you. If you want to carry, you have a lighter base pack, you wanted something solid, this is that product for you. If you wanted to have a gasifier stove and, a, and really, really limit the smoke that you're going to be able to see after the embers are done, this is a fantastic product for that. If you want that rocket stove effect, light packability, super strong, this is what you're going to go to. And if you want an all-enclosed system, this is it. Or maybe you don't have any of this and you're like, I'm going to be in a city-based situation and possibly have, you know, the ability to acquire any kind of alcohol or any kind of stuff that I need to operate that stove. That would be the one for you. Thank you so much. We got some great videos coming up. I got videos on medication and antibiotics. I got videos coming out about gas masks, and I'm not talking about the filters that you can't reproduce, the carbon uh, the carbon inside of it. I'm talking about ones you could take apart and utilize that and make it yourself. I'm super excited about that. Thank you for joining me again, and stay off of concrete. I truly appreciate your video or your views on the videos. Thank you so much, everybody.